Welcome to Central News for Tuesday, July 3rd. I'm Keisha Gillings. In today's news, Waikato-based child abuse prevention organisation Child Matters is thrilled to have successfully certified Early Childhood Education Centre, Footsteps Potama, to train their staff in child protection safety. Academic Services Manager Amanda Maynell says it is a hugely important step for Child Matters. First is that it recognises the commitment that um, this particular organisation Footsteps have made in relation to um, child protection and keeping children safe and making sure that their staff are equipped to do so. And the second part of it is it, it provides approval for um, the agency to provide some training in-house themselves around ch child protection. So what did Footsteps have to do to receive the certification? It was quite a process and um, we entered into this journey probably about two years ago. Um, so they have reviewed and um, rewritten a child protection policy. Um, they've um, committed to staff undertaking child protection training and they've had all their staff go through an induction training. Um, then all staff are committed to attending a more in-depth child protection training course for um, three to five days. And then some of their staff, including Marina, who you'll be talking to later, um, has attended our Diploma in Child Protection Studies, which is a year-long course. Footsteps Potama's Marina Jury says the certification has made a big difference to the organisation. The biggest message is that the staff tell me that they've learnt from the induction programmes and from the three to five day certificate is that it's a joint responsibility and Footsteps have that culture through our whole organisation and it's not just a training certificate, it's there forever. It's not okay, child abuse isn't okay and we don't know, we don't have to know how to fix the problem, we just need to know it's not okay and take support and that's where we consult with Child Matters and um, if we can help the children and make them safe then their ability to get better education is going to help. So what results have you seen coming out of this so far and how it's benefiting children? Uh, there's been a few few situations whereby there have been incidents that have been reported but the great thing is about providing support so the right support has been provided for the family and for the child. Matamata Piako District Council is dedicated to providing quality services for the whole district and is currently upgrading $3 million worth of wastewater systems in the Waharoa area. Mayor Hugh Verkoi says the upgrade will considerably improve services. If you take Waharoa, for instance, the last one that we bring on strength, um, all those houses out there, all on septic tanks, all draining into their neighbour's property, a major health problem and uh, the only way you can do it is put in a, a wastewater system, either a plant on its own to deal with Waharoa or what we've done in this case is to put a pump station in and pipe it back to uh, the main ponds at Matamata. But tremendous improvement for everybody living in Waharoa. The Waikato Bay of Plenty Magic were on fire against the Firebirds at last night's Claudelands Arena game where they won 53-43. The result means the Magic finish in third spot and host the fourth place Adelaide Thunderbirds in the sudden death minor semi-final next Monday night. The defending champion Firebirds have finished the competition in sixth place but it wasn't as easy win with the Firebirds keeping it close under the last quarter. A Tauranga woman sent out to retrieve the family car after her partner was earlier stopped for drink driving was found to be more than twice the legal limit with two children in the car. Earlier in the day the woman's partner was pulled over by police driving the same vehicle and found to be over the limit. Police say the woman blew 821 micrograms of alcohol per litre of breath. The legal limit is 400 micrograms. Time to check out our region's weather. Hamilton, you will have increasingly fine spells tomorrow with a high of 13 and low of 8. Tauranga, you're set to have rain in the morning, followed by a few showers. Your high is 14 and low is 8. Coming up after the break, Asil Russell tells us how she inspires the younger generation. We hear from Hea Aratika and our Central News health expert Nikki Russell has all your winter wellness advice. Join me after the break. <laughs> 